Hey everyone, DCB here again with a little uh, project update for August 23rd, 2024. Um, as you may or may not know, I've been working basically 12 hours a day, seven days a week, pretty much nonstop getting these uh, McMiniature orders out to everyone as fast as I possibly humanly can. Um, there's so many steps involved in each piece, so it course it does take some time and again 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 I thank everyone for your patience uh, I did manage to find a couple people here in Sioux Falls who've been helping a little bit here and there with my painting but their free time is pretty limited right now so it's not a full-time thing or anything it's just whenever they have some time that they can spare so so far that's been pretty helpful and thanks Jesse, Aaron, Sean, and Corey, you're the best. I am so relieved to announce that I'm down to the last 10 of the Mayor McCheese product pals. Um, I thought this little side project would just be a quickie thing to do. Uh, if you remember, my original plan was to release a new product pal every month, but the response to the Mayor has been overwhelming. And it's almost become a full-time job just trying to get those orders out. I thought I was going to sell maybe about 20 of them or so, but sold about 10 times that amount. So that's crazy. Uh, I just have to cast a couple more bodies and heads and paint and assemble them and put together the last cards and bubbles. And then I'll get those out. Uh, this is the one piece that people have been the most impatient about. Uh, I guess they assume since the piece is smaller that it doesn't take that long but there's a lot of steps involved into it so but last 10 and then they're done and then i might go on to the next the next product pals which would be the play-doh boy but i might have to put the brakes on that for a little bit until i get caught up with the other stuff we'll see i am super in love with this new technique that i thought of recently of spray painting directly into my silicone molds before I put the resin in. This not only eliminates the need for me to prime and paint the pieces later, but it's a way more durable grab to the resin. Um, I've had so many issues with a few of these pieces of the paint kind of chipping off, but with this new technique, the paint is actually embedded in the resin, and I, I can't even scratch it off with my thumbnail if I try. So. I'm totally in love with this technique, and I wish I would have thought of this years ago. So that's that's really sped up some of my production time and the quality of the piece, too. So if you're uh, doing cast resin and you need to paint it, um, try this technique. It's it's great. Uh, no, no need for mold release or anything. Just spray paint right into the mold. Put your resin in, and then wait, wait for the paint to cure first before you put the resin in. And then uh, there you go. Perfect. I shipped out the first batch of carousels last week and people are starting to receive them. Uh, the response has been overwhelmingly positive about them, so that's good. Uh, I, think, I think this is my favorite piece now of the McMiniatures. Um, I wasn't initially a fan of the actual carousel, but seeing this in a small size, it's, it's really changed my mind about it. Uh, I, I think I just like all the detail that's involved in it. Uh, there's 23 separate little pieces in it, and they're all just, you know, highly detailed paint. And it's it's pretty fun and relaxing to do because they're smaller, so I can just do a little bit here and there. And I've got pretty much everything here ready to go for another six or so carousels, and I'll probably be shipping those out early next week. So if you're on the list, look for that. If you're not on the list, get on it. I've also been casting up the original Big Mac and Mary McCheese statues. Uh, it's been a while since I've done these, but there's a few pending orders on those that I got to get out. It's, it's kind of nice to revisit these as they were the first pieces I started out with when I took this little McDonald's venture about a year and a half ago. Um, so it's nice to revisit that. I have a pile of Big Mac heads here ready to get painted and then I had to remake the mold for the mare because the old one kind of broke down so I got that going and that's all good to go 
So I've been slowly casting those up. I also have a bunch of the Grimace heads for the Bend and Bounce ready to be painted. And I've been casting up some of the bases too. This base piece in particular was one of the more difficult pieces originally to get the paint to stick because it's such a large, smooth area. But with that new technique I mentioned, uh, it's vastly improved the grip of the purple paint and no more issues with that. Um, I just have to now bend up all those bars again, which eh, it's fun, I guess. But Grimace Bend and Bounce, those will be going out soon. I have the um, aluminum blanks ordered for the playground regulation sign that I just released the other day. Uh, looks like they'll be arriving on Wednesday, and the DTF decals should be here on Monday. Um, I think the little screws on the bracket for the back will be here this weekend. So I might do a little video showing you how I put these together. It's not just you know slapping a sticker on a piece of plastic. Uh, I wanted it to be a little more high quality than that. So that's why I went with the aluminum and the DTF sticker. Uh, I think they're going to be great. Um, a simple yet semi-complicated item for sure, because, you know, why would I make something easy? Uh, lately, I've been thinking about making the fence with the brick columns and globe lights. I've been playing around the idea in my head of it being kind of modular so that you could buy as many columns and fence pieces as you want, and they would kind of stick together. Um, I want the fence to actually be the means for the electrical current to get from each column to the lights. Uh, so that way you only have to power up, you know, one column and the rest will just follow along for as many columns of fence pieces that you need. Um, so I'm going to, I'm kind of working on it in my head and then I'll probably start designing that pretty soon. I got the last of the Hamburglar swings here uh, for orders that are pending. Um, I'm almost done with those. And then I'm going to start casting up some more merry-go-rounds. And, uh, I think a couple more garbage cans. Let's see. One is, I think that's it. Um, I have a bunch of the Big Mac jails cast up and painted, and then a bunch here that still need to be painted. Um, there was a little bit of a delay in getting the pewter for the bars, but I have that now, so I've been slowly casting up those. Uh, that's a really slow process, and I wish I had thought of a quicker way to do these but I still haven't, so this is how it's going to be. Um, that'll be fine. They'll, they'll get done. Um, I've shipped out a bunch of jails already. There's a few here that are just about ready to go, so that's that. Um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks again to everyone for your orders and your patience. I can't stress that enough. You've all been great, and I thank you, thank you. Um, have a good day, everyone, and be sure to follow my progress on Instagram uh, at Dustin Crops Boy, where I post updates every couple days of what I'm working on. And uh, be sure to check out my T Public page. Uh, links in the description. Buy some shirts, help support the channel and what I do. Every little bit helps. Uh, that's about all. Thanks, everyone. Dorn, that's the end. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Dustin Crops Boy. Also check out our Tee Public page for t-shirts you can buy to help support this channel. Or just go to the website dcbvarietyhour.com for all the links.